guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to share with you all of the things that I was influenced to buy by YouTube homeschooling mamas. So if you guys are interested in seeing all the stuff I was influenced to buy, then go ahead and stay tuned for today's video. So if any of you guys are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls, ages 10, four, and two. And I just finished up my second year of homeschooling. I was reached out to from Nikki from Blessed Homeschool Mess to be a part of this collab. And my video is really, really late, but I definitely wanted to go ahead and add to this collab. Um, and definitely show you guys that even as an influencer myself, I definitely have been influenced here on this platform. I really feel like this video is giving me like mean girl vibes. I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip flops, so I bought army pants and flip flops. Or whatever, um, I know I'm definitely like giving my age and everything like that, especially because that movie is like nostalgic, but um, yeah, so let me stop chatting and I'm gonna go ahead, you guys, and share with you all the things that I was influenced to buy from YouTube. So I guess we can just start off right here. So one of the first things that I was influenced to buy on YouTube were these September and Co. Character Matters cards. So here goes the Character Matters in the Bible. I have the Character Matters in the home. And I also have the Character Matters in the world. So I originally seen these from Samantha's channel from Among Stouts. She was showing like either her morning basket or her Bible video. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have these Character Matters cards. So I went on Etsy and I purchased them. So this is like one of the things that I was influenced to buy. Um, something else that I was influenced to buy was from Wendy from Plan Prep Pray. You guys, uh, Wendy, she is really a wealth of knowledge, especially when it comes to the younger preschoolers ages. So she made a video on her channel just talking about all the levels and the things that she does for her kiddos as they're preparing to really be a part of like her homeschooling day. So I took a lot of inspiration from that video and this is the pal that I purchased from uh, Wendy's video. The first thing I purchased and I was influenced to buy was what your preschooler needs to know. You guys, this is definitely a good resource and I'm so happy that I did purchase this because this book right here, it has like a lot of songs, stories, poetry. It goes over like history, science for the little kiddos. And this has definitely been a great asset to my homeschool. So I definitely was influenced by Wendy to purchase this right here. Uh, this what your kiddo needs to know uh, from core knowledge. Something else that I purchased that Wendy mentioned on her channel was these Rod and Staff uh, beginner um, like preschool workbooks. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, I purchased these in November and my daughter just now has started these and she really has like been enjoying this one in particular. We literally just started doing this one. It's literally been sitting in my closet, my homeschooling closet, and my daughter, she's seen it and she was like, oh mommy, I wanna do it. So we started doing this one and she really has enjoyed doing these little simple like uh, worksheets from um, Rod and Staff. So I'm so, so, so happy that I did pick up these. This whole bundle right here, you guys, was only like 10 bucks. And these are really, really great uh, like pre-K, preschool worksheets. So uh, yeah, Wendy made me buy it. You made me buy it, girl. <laughs> Something else that Wendy influenced me to purchase was these books right here from uh, JDA, which is the preschool writing workbook, also the preschool literacy workbook, and the preschooler beginner math workbooks. Now this series is actually made from a fellow YouTuber here on YouTube. Her name is JDA. She has a wealth of knowledge on her channel and she came up with her own like preschool pre-K curriculum. I've seen these workbooks mentioned from Wendy from Plan Prep Pray. Um, and then I went over to JDA's channel to really see how she uh, utilized these workbooks within her homeschool. And they were so affordable, you guys. Each of these workbooks were only, I think $9. And then also too, I purchased her PDF bundle, which was even more affordable because I was able to get all of these plus the coloring book that she has in her series for only $15.99. So it definitely was affordable. Um, I just wanted to have the hard copies as well, but um, I'm able to utilize these not only with my um, four-year-old, but also with my two-year-old too. I can reprint off the sheets as many as I like. So um, yeah, Wendy, you, you got me, girl. <laughs> so that is something that I was influenced to buy. 
Now, another thing that I was influenced to buy was from uh, Rachel from 7 and All. You guys, I was influenced to buy her new preschool program and I'm so, so happy I purchased these. These were two great, 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 easy to implement units that I did in my homeschool with my preschoolers this year. We started off our year doing the purely preschool insect unit. And then in the fall time, we did the purely preschool fall unit. And my daughters absolutely loved this one. We were able to like go to the pumpkin patch after this. Um, they was able to paint and do something like arts and crafts and life skills. And I really, really enjoyed these purely preschool units that Rachel created from um, Seven and All. So you guys definitely check out all of the other preschool units that she has, cause she has like a plethora of them right now on her um, website. It's called Where You Learned That. I think that's what it's called. I'm gonna link it down below. But yeah, I was definitely influenced by her to go ahead and purchase her a new preschool curriculum and it definitely was like a hit in our homeschool. Something else that I was influenced to buy from Rachel from Seven and All was preschool math at home. Now I seen preschool math at home mentioned by her and also from Jasmine from um, One Caffeinated Mom. They both mentioned this preschool math at home uh, workbook and how they were implementing it in their homeschool for their younger toddlers. And you guys like I'm so happy I got this cheapy $16 resource because this has been a fun hands on way that I'm able to teach math to my four year old. And you guys my four year old she is really a busy body and and uh, using resources like this has been really, really great for her. She's not confined to being like sitting down and doing a worksheet. She's really able to learn these concepts using her hands. And we are almost wrapping up chapter two right now. So she is doing so well with this and I'm really, really excited. I think I'm gonna continue with this program with her because it's working so, so, so well with her. So uh, Rachel from Seven and All, she inspired me to get this book from Amazon. Something else that Rachel from Seven and All inspired me to get was this gentle and classical preschool um, from the gentle and classical press she did this with her kiddo last year so the gentle and classical preschool goes hand in hand with preschool math at home so because I was already doing this I was like I might as well go ahead and do the uh, gentle and classical preschool and combine these programs together because at the point my daughter she kind of like outgrew the purely preschool units and I'm so 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 sad her skill level and I just wanted to take her up a notch so that's what made me go ahead and start off this program this is a new program to us we've been doing it for about I think two or almost three months right now and we've really really been loving this one so Rachel you got me girl too now another program that I was uh, inspired or influenced to get was playing preschool and I heard about playing preschool from Christy from these little sprouts you guys like Christy I was like watching her Instagram feed when she was doing this with her son um, she actually also did playing preschool year two and you guys I was just like seeing all of the fun hands-on activities she was doing with her kiddos and I knew this was gonna be a great one for me to do with Leia because Leia is my middle daughter she's busy she's hands-on and you guys this curriculum has been so much fun like right now since it's summertime and we finished off our school year uh, Brielle my oldest she's kind of like taking a break right now I have been focusing heavily on my two toddlers so we picked this baby back up and we are on the nursery rhyme unit right now we're having like so 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 much fun with this one so yes Christy you got me too girl so <laughs> I bought playing preschool because of Christy Okay, you guys, now I am going to talk about the YouTuber that has influenced me the most. And I wouldn't really say influenced, but I'm going to say inspire me the most. I found Tori from the Oglesby Ohana uh, really when I was making a pivotal decision in my homeschooling journey. You guys, I already had my daughter enrolled into public school to start off um, for the third grade. And after I watched one of her videos, I immediately, it was like a few hours later, I tousled and turned with it. I went on to my computer and I filled out the declaration of intent for the state of Georgia to homeschool Brielle. Um, so she was really one of the most influential, inspiring YouTube mamas, homeschool mamas that I've seen. And she really uh, has made a big impact for me and my homeschooling journey. And um, yeah, she definitely has influenced me the most. I'm gonna share with you guys some of the mama books 
that really has helped me along my homeschooling journey that she shared. And all these books that I'm sharing you guys with you, I purchased with her links that she had because I definitely wanted to make sure she got that affiliated money for these uh, items that I purchased from her because uh, I definitely wanted to support her in any way that I can because I feel like the videos she was given were so motivational and they were free. So it was like, this is at least I can do. So the first book that I purchased from Tori's Recommendations was Rhythms of Renewal. And this book goes over trading stress and anxiety for a life of peace and purpose. And you guys, this book is amazing. I know it's not necessarily homeschool related, but it's really to take care of the homeschooling mama. And this, this book has been great. You guys, I love this book. Um, I have even been going back to the books because after each chapter, it has like a journal entry you do. And I've been going back and really reflecting on the things that I wrote. Um, but this has been a great, great, great read. Another read that I read and I purchased because of Tori was The Brave Learner. And this book definitely helped me along my homeschooling journey to really let go and to set the table for uh, natural learning within my homeschool. Um, this definitely was a great read. It was kind of a little scattered and you kind of have to get used to the format that Julie Bogart writes in her book, but it's really, really a plethora of knowledge. And I definitely recommend any new homeschooling mom to read this one. My absolute favorite homeschooling book that she recommended was The Call to the Wild and Free. Um, this book, you guys, I read this book, I think in like two days because it was just a wealth of knowledge. It was encouragement and it just really uplifted me at a time where I really felt low in my homeschooling journey. So this book, The Call to Wild and Free was my absolute favorite homeschooling book. Uh, so I'm really, really happy I read this one. So this one or all three of these books really has helped me along my homeschooling journey. Now, as far as resources for the kiddos, I'm going to quickly show these to you guys because I have a big stack because a lot of like my root alouds and a lot of my book recommendations, I really get from her channel because you guys, her book recommendations are like gold. But I bought these uh, Little Leaders books uh, and I used them for Black History Month when I seen her uh, use these with her kiddos. You guys, this is one of my favorite books that she recommended and we read it in the fall time. This is Magnificent Homespun Brown. This, you guys, I love it. Um, if you wanna talk about like poetry, rhyme, repetition, if you wanna talk about onomatopoeias, um, things like that, you can definitely use this book for uh, going into those literary devices to go over with your kiddos by using this fun picture book. But this one was great. My daughter loved this one. Another book that I bought from her was The Hip Hop Speaks to Children. You guys, I listened to the CD in the car with my kiddos and we listened to the rhyme and the poetry and the beat and this really got us excited about poetry in our household. So this was a great recommendation from her. Another one, and I think all homeschool mamas get into this book, which is Sing a Song of Seasons. And you guys, at first I wasn't a believer because I checked this one out at my library, but you guys, every single morning when we do like our morning time, this book is pulled out. If I forget to do the morning poem, my daughter, she always is like, oh mommy, we forgot to do our nature poem. And this has definitely been a great, great, great asset in our homeschool. And it's just a definitely an easy way to get, incorporate like poetry in your like homeschool so I love this one and the last thing that Tori has gotten me addicted to has been DK books I have like a big collection of DK books you guys like if you want to do any unit or study anything DK books are like great and they're affordable I really feel like DK books are more affordable than Usborne books and you kind of get a little bit more using like these encyclopedias to do like unit studies just to have on your shelf for your kiddos to look through and um, yeah I love these now, one thing that I learned from Tori was Tori mentioned in her, one of her videos about the Heritage Mom blog. And you guys, I feel like out of anyone or anything I've been most influenced by was her blog. You guys, um, Amber from the Heritage Mom, she actually makes these really, really cool heritage packs. And we're going to be doing the Heart and Soul Heritage Pack. We actually did the, what is it? We did Amazing Africa this year and I really, really enjoyed it. So I have a lot of her heritage packs, you guys. I have her hem study, <laughs> I have both of them. And also too from Amber, I have her new book, which is A Place to Belong. And I'm so excited to read this book right here, you guys. This book goes over celebrating diversity and kinship in the home and beyond. 
And this book right here is really not just for homeschooling moms. It's just for any type of mom that just really wants to incorporate, you know, diversity, kinship, um, a place to belong within your home, your community. And I'm so, so, so excited to uh, dive in deep into this book right here. I'm actually going to start it this weekend. I was kind of scared to start it because I know how I get with like books and everything like that. You guys, once I start reading, I can't put it down. So I'm trying to get a couple of things done around a house and then I know I can dive into this book this weekend kick up my feet and I'm so 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 excited to read this one so I heard about the heritage mom through Tori's channel and her uh, website you guys is really really great for like book recommendations she has like so many free resources composer studies art studies and it's just like uh, you can tell she really puts her heart into her blog and um, I definitely have loved that resource so you guys I hope this video wasn't too long as you guys can see I definitely have gotten influence <laughs> as well on this YouTube platform so you guys do me a favor go ahead and check out Nikki's channel subscribe because she is a new youtuber mama on this platform give her channel some love check out all the other ladies who made videos in this playlist thank you again Nikki for allowing me to join I'm sorry my video is late but as always you guys I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.